Okay, so there we are. We are at the bench, and you can see a bit of a glare on the box from the light. I can't apologise for that enough. But there we go, some nice box art image. It looks like it is from the Polish campaign, the main box art schemes. Um, just having a look. Uh, so on the side there, uh, we do have some information that will be very dearly to you guys for the painting. Just some information on the side there, telling you what part is which, what colour is which. And also what I do like is that these new ones, they are actually giving some nice colour schemes. Um, obviously the main box art one is from 1939. And the other one, which is actually a really nice one, which I'll be doing, is uh, May 1940. This is in Germany. Now, this squadron, funny enough I should mention this, I do have some decals upstairs. I was actually going to use these kits for this squadron, uh, except mine would have been 6-1. Yeah, oh, sorry, mine would have been 11-1. So that's pretty weird, but there we go. It looks really, really neat, guys. Okay, so the actual kit number for this is, let me just find it, uh, 84158. There we go, that's the number on the side, 84158. Um, it's still not on the website yet of this. I haven't really seen much of it, so it's still, yeah. It's not in there. Um, I got this from Model Hobbies. Uh, you can now get them from our time this video is out. You can get them from other places. I'm just opening the box now. So that's how fresh it is. Uh, what else? What other places? Model Hobbies, E Models have them. I'm not sure if Hanant stuff, which is very weird because they're the most imported ones out. So there we go. Okay. Alright, it's coming here. So, obviously, weekend edition, we don't get any photo etch pieces with this because it's the weekend edition. Okay, so let's have a look. We have our canopy in a plastic bag. We have the kit, um, all nicely moulded once again, as Edward's kindly do. And then the instructions and beautiful decals in the bottom here. So, we're going to start off with the instructions. Put that to a side. That there. Okay. Right. So the instructions. Uh, basically, tell you very nice coloured decals this time. Sorry. Uh, so I'll open it up. Okay. So it does have your list of call outs here, all your parts and that lot and colours you need. So we start off straight away with the cockpit, cockpit sides now. The cockpit sides are beautiful as they are, so photo etch is, I don't really bother with it at this part, but there we go. Um, it does look like we do have some decals by looks on the bottom here of um, your seat harnesses, which you know is okay for some nice people, there we go. Uh, right, this one, I must admit, everyone who knows the 109s, you do get a full engine and gun bay with these kits. These are just not not just this kit, there's the 109, E3 and E4, they get them as well, and also the E7, I'm not forgetting. Again, this all goes together in the sandwich component places, uh, your engine bay, or sorry, your gun bay is going on the top there. Now, this is a tricky bit, all these exhaust stacks are fitted into the front here. Um, it's tied up to you what you want to do, what colour you do them. But last time I built one of these, I didn't think I had any trouble, but obviously I didn't really open, yeah, didn't hope for much at the point because I didn't know Edward that much. So that's how long it's been since I built a 109 kit of an Edward. Think about that one. Uh, okay, so the wings going in place here. Obviously, your air intakes underneath, your ailerons and flaps. Uh, what else are we for? Um, some more detailed parts for your engine covers, that going in there. It says for open engine cowling, so hmm. looks like we do have some parts that fold down, which I wasn't too aware of if I'm honest, but there we go. Okay, so then we got landing gear going on, so back here. Now, there we go, for your closed versions, it's really pain because you still have to make the engine if you're having the engine open or closed, it's entirely up to you, but still that's got to be open, or well, made together. Uh, we've got opponents going in here, as well as your air intakes, filters, your prop going in, and then your canopy section for the open or closed version, whichever you want. Now, if you want the engine cowling closed up, you have to remove some parts. You have to remove 
this front piece off the um, engine cowling and then these two tabs at the side and then obviously do not install the machine guns in there so that's that okay so beautiful color schemes I will admit uh, what do we have here right okay so the first one is um, WRNR sorry WNR number 3250 flown by Hopwood Lieutenant um, through this upside down sorry <laughs> Um, one second. Give this shot here. This one here, flown, flown by Jonas Jork. I think that says, uh, CEO of One JG Seventy Seven, uh, in Julienburg, Germany. Okay, so this was basically just before the Polish campaign. I'll just read some details of this one. Uh, in June nineteen thirty eight, Captain. Johannes Jank, sorry, as it says, assumed command of Group 132, equipped with 109D aircraft, and succeeded in World War One Ace Lieutenant Theo Otterkamp. The time the unit was based in blah 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 blah. It was before it was based at Wurschman, I think that's how I pronounced, uh, before the attack on Poland on September the first, nineteen thirty-nine. Uh do 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 do. Uh, May nineteen thirty-nine, EF one hundred nine aircraft were added to his inventory. Uh, he commanded the squadron in August 25th, 1940, and was given command at the time of 109E1 fighters. Uh, there we go. Very nice colour scheme with the um, the boot on the nose and the red band across the tail there, and so forth. And this one I particularly like. Um, I love the lion on the side there. Is it a lion? Or... I don't know. I'll actually you what it is. <laughs> I have to think about this one. The uh, number of the aircraft was WR, sorry, WNR 3462, flown by Lieutenant <laughs> Wolfgang Ludwig. I think that's about. I have to turn upside down again. Uh, during the day of invasion, Netherlands JG 26 fighters' mission was to clean the skies only fighters, so the J 52 aircraft could safely power troopers. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, one response, it was hit by anti-aircraft fire, forced to perform emergency landing southwest of the Hague and taken PMW. After the armistice released captivity, Lugwin survived the war with the rank of Hotman commanding. Okay, so this is, um, oh that's weird. Okay, so it's just told me that obviously this aircraft was obviously shot down. Um, during the Netherlands campaign at the very start of the war, so I thought um, it's okay because this colour schemes is the exact same as the one I was going to build. So I thought, oh, okay, so uh, I didn't survive to the Battle of Britain. Okay, fair enough. Then. Fair enough. I approach your boat, and then at the very back there we got your stencil marking options. There we go. Okay, so there we are. Okay, I'll just bring you in. Let's have a look at these decals. Okay, very nice and glossy. We have some other stencils at the back here. Hmm, very nice. Obviously, you get your decals for instrument panels, parts. Um, lots of things. Is those numbers for your engine, or are they for the actual aircraft? I think they're for the aircraft. Instrument panels and also your seat harnesses decals. Just going in there. There we are. Right, next part is your canopies. I'm not going to get those out of the bag, I don't think. But either way, they're really nice and clear. If you want some masks for them, then you can easily go and buy some. But if not, free hand is to be on the market. Okay, so now the kit itself. Now, this is what I was talking about earlier. I'll just show you guys the first parts that come out. Okay, here we are. All in a nice receivable bag. I'll put that into the side. Okay, so this is what I was talking about beforehand. The 109 wings here. Um, once again, I don't know if we can see in the light there, if I just gently move that around, but all nice uh, recessed panel lines. Really nicely done, actually. I do like that scheme. Uh, just having a look. The gun bays underneath here, you'll notice if you have a a 109E3, E4 or E7 aircraft, these aircraft don't have the bulges that 
when he, the cannons had, so these were machine gun fitted only into the wings. Um, it's not, and the top wing it looks okay, but just these front cowling bits here, it's a completely different moulding for that one. So it's nice they've retooled it and that lot, so, hmm, looks very nice, very nice indeed, I'm liking that already. And same, um, the fuselage halves, uh, they ex I think they're the exact same as the other aircraft. I can't see anything different between them. Um, just time to lock some nice interior towards the bottom there. Just see if I can zoom you guys in. Wrong way. Nice interior. Just going down in there. I don't know if we can see all those rivets on the side of the panels there, but there we go. Uh, here's the most tangiest little pieces ever. Second sprue. This is, um, again, this exact copy of the other ones. Uh, obviously, the ones didn't have any of these drop tacks on, so you don't be needing any of those. Uh, prop is the same. Anything else? A spitting image, really. All beautifully detailed as Edward's kits can be. And last but not least, your last sprue. Bear in mind, these are a lot of tiny parts on them. All across here. All across there. I can't see any bit of flash at all. The stitching, even on the end of the tails and the rudder control, is really nice, nice detail. Nice, nice, whichever. Got some bombs here, but I don't think we'll be using them. Fully one aircraft, and there we go, guys. That is a review of Edward's brand new kit. So, like I said, I've just had this out, had a look at it. It is basically the basic kits that Edward do. You don't get any photo etch in it, but if you would choose to, you can uh, purchase all the actual um, upgrade kits for them. But bear in mind that you know they're going to be beautiful as they are. And there we are. Right, guys, I'm going to leave you with that. Thank you very much for watching. Happy modelling. Take care. And I shall see you all again soon. And with that, cheers, thank you, and goodbye for now.